Do you want to get into Dalhousie Medical School? Stay tuned because that's the topic of this video. I'm going to go through admissions statistics, eligibility, tuition costs, curriculum, application requirements, and a lot of more information so you can get into Dalhousie Medical School. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Hi, my name is Diego Pineda and I'm an admissions associate here at BMO. If you would like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections that you're interested in. Now, let's talk about how to get into Dalhousie Medical School. The info that I'm going to cover is based on the university's website and the medical school's requirements website at the time of this video. But always be sure to check the statistics and requirements with the school's website for the most up-to-date information. Dalhousie's Medical School represents the medical and educational interests of the three maritime Canadian provinces, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island. Preferences given to applicants from these three provinces, while a small number of applicants from other Canadian provinces and territories are accepted each year. Located in Halifax, Nova Scotia since 1868, Dalhousie Medical School has an overall acceptance rate of 10%, but only Canadian citizens and permanent residents are accepted. International students, including Americans, are not accepted. The average GPA of accepted students is 3.9 and the average MCAT score is 510. Dalhousie applicants are categorized in four applicant pools. The maritime provinces of Nova Scotia, New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island make the first three and applicants from all other Canadian provinces and territories make up their fourth one. Of their 436 students enrolled in the four-year MD program, more than 91% come from Maritime Canada. Dalhousie University designates two types of applicants to determine their eligibility for admission purposes. You can be classified as an independent student or a dependent student. You're an independent student if you have been out of high school for four years, you have been in the workforce for two periods of 12 consecutive months and were not a full-time student during this period. You are married or in common law. You have a dependent living with you. You have no legal guardian or parents are deceased. You are permanent ward of a child and family service agency. You are a dependent student if you are considered to be financially dependent on parents or guardians and do not meet the criteria of an independent student. Now, let's go over tuition costs. Total tuition fees for Dalhousie Medical School add up to $23,000. Your living costs will depend on your housing, mode of transportation, utilities, and so on. For reference, rent of a one-bedroom apartment in Halifax is about $1,400 per month. Car payments average just about $500 per month, while other expenses like food, clothing, and entertainment can be up, up to uh, $600 per month. Dalhousie Faculty of Medicine has a variety of funding opportunities available, so be sure to check out our blog for details about the available scholarships and awards. I have included the link in the description of this video. Dalhousie's MD program gives you clinical learning opportunities starting in your first week of medical school. For the first two years of medical school, you're based either out of Halifax or St. John. The pre-clerkship years offer a basic foundation in anatomy and systems of the human body, as well as the philosophical and ethical aspects of medicine. There are structured lectures, labs, and tutorials, as well as a scheduled time for the research in medicine program, electives, and self-directed learning. You'll have the chance to work closely with faculty, volunteer patients, and simulated patients. At the end of the first year, you'll spend a week working alongside rural physicians in communities across the Maritimes. Years 3 and 4, the clerkship years, offer you more opportunity to apply your learning in a variety of clinical settings across many medical specialties. You will have the opportunity to meet faculty in Dalhousie's teaching hospitals, gain mentors, and explore residency training programs. Clerkships 
take place in teaching sites across the Maritimes with opportunities to travel across Canada and internationally. So let's go over all the application components you must submit and admission requirements you must meet to be a competitive candidate for Dalhousie's medical school. Dalhousie requires its applicants to complete Section 1 of the online application form, which must be submitted by July 31st of the year of application along with a $70 fee. Online applications open on June 15th. After you complete the form, you must send your transcripts and language proficiency test scores as supporting documents. Once you submit Section 1, you will receive Section 2 by email. This application component would include mandatory residency verification form and mandatory online transcript entry, mandatory personal statement and supplementary information form and optional personal context questionnaire. In your supplemental information form, you will need to provide the history of your experiences that make you suitable for the study of medicine. Only include activities completed during your undergraduate and graduate studies or within the last five years. If you started an activity five years ago and it's ongoing, you may include it as well. Check out our blog to learn more about what to include in each section of the application form. What about the personal essay? Your personal essay must outline how your experiences have informed your decision to pursue medicine. You will have to answer the very important question of why you want to become a doctor. All submissions will be anonymized for review, so do not include any identifiers such as your name, MCAT score, or your GPA. You will have a 1500 word limit for your essay and you will not be able to submit an essay if you exceed this limit. Make sure you read some medical personal statement examples before you sit down to write your own. Non-maritime applicants must submit an additional short essay. In 250 words or less, you must describe your knowledge of, any connections to, and past experiences with the maritime provinces, and how these have contributed to your selection of Dalhousie as your preferred school. This is a mandatory application component for applicants from non-maritime provinces and must be submitted along with your personal essay. Dalhousie University is interested in what you know about the Maritimes and what kind of exposure you have had to see how you fit into the unique world of the Maritimes. Do not simply say that you're applying to Dalhousie because you want to get into any medical school. Show that you have prior knowledge of their life, history, culture, and even nature. Here are other selection factors to take into account. While Dalhousie does not have a list of strict medical school prerequisites, it has strict course load requirements. To demonstrate your ability to take on the rigorous MD program demands, your academic record must demonstrate consistency and full-time involvement. To be eligible to apply to Dalhousie, you must take a full course load of five full classes, that's 30 credit hours, in each of the two most senior years of your undergraduate degree. Only fall and winter semesters will be used for assessment. Summer courses do not count towards GPA or course load requirements. Residents of the Maritime provinces must meet a minimum GPA requirement of 3.3 on a 4.0 scale to stay in the application pool. Residents from all other Canadian provinces must meet the minimum GPA of 3.7. And the minimum GPA requirement must be in each year of your undergraduate degree, especially in the last two years. Maritime and out-of-province applicants have different MCAT score thresholds. Dalhousie Medical School determines your MCAT score cutoff in relation to your GPA. That is, if your GPA is 3.3, the lowest possible requirement, your total MCAT score must be no lower than 499 to be considered. For out-of-province applicants, with the lowest possible GPA minimum is 3.7 so the MCAT score must be no lower than 503. What about deadlines? September 12 is the deadline to write the MCAT and September 29 is the deadline to release MCAT scores. Dalhousie considers your CASPER results for interview selection purposes only. 
all eligible maritime applicants who have met GPA, MCAT, CASPA requirements, and submitted online application and processing fees are invited for an interview. Approximately 60 to 100 eligible out of province applicants will be invited for an interview. Invitations are sent out in October and interviews take place during one weekend in November each year. Your interview will take place on either a Saturday or a Sunday on the school's campus and will run approximately two hours during the morning or the afternoon. Dalhousie uses the multiple mini interview format to assess its applicants. You can learn more about the MMI in our blog. Offers of admissions are distributed in March each year. Note that you can only request deferral of admission for one year and that these are not usually granted. If you would like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. If you have any questions about Dalhousie Medical School that I didn't cover in this video, let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time.